Man, uh, pretty uh, phenomenal. Um, he's just on a good, really good run. Um, striking the curveball, fastball, the two fastballs that he's using, um, the, the slider, and so it's just yeah. T tonight he was, uh, you know, he was virtually unhittable, and uh, he was in a great rhythm and could have sent him out there for the. Uh, for the eighth right there, I just felt that you know he did his job, and to kind of you know, manage a an inning here um, made sense, and he'll get a couple extra days uh, for his, for his next one. So we're in a good spot. Is that like bringing him out? What you're talking about pregame, just looking for other ways to manage that? Yeah, you know, and, and I felt that you know Alex was frisky tonight, so I, I felt that was a good lane for Alex, um, and uh, you know it's good to get Michael in there, so. Yeah, that was kind of one of those things where you're just trying to, you know, curve it in and here there. A month ago, we were talking about how the bottom of the half was struggling. What, what they've done the last month, and especially tonight, is this kind of what you're hoping to see from them? This is it. This is it. Um, you know, Jason taking a couple walks or maybe a walk, and um, I think two walks, and then uh, Kevin with, with a knock and a, and a base and a bunt base hit. Gavin obviously had a really nice night, so only about well. So it just takes the pressure off the top. And so, you know, even for Kevin to get a get a knock and then Shohei to hit a homer, just put two runs on the board quickly was big. And so it just allowed us to keep trying in or, or Hudson or Phillips who was down out of the game. And so those things right right there, just the compound effect of how you can win games, you know, going forward. Is Shohei going to make it hard for Mookie to get the leadoff spot back when he comes back? <laughs> um, you know, it, it's actually, it, it's it's a good thought, um, you know, once Mookie gets back, which is still going to be down the road, just kind of seeing how, what's the best way to construct the lineup. And, and so knowing that Shohei can hit there, feels comfortable. Um, you know, Mookie obviously is our leadoff hitter, but, you know, how you can kind of navigate the right, left, right, Left, right, left situation. What it looks like. I think it's a it's a good conversation. We'll see when we get there. Do you detect any additional comfort for Shohei from hitting leadoff, or does it really matter? I, I don't think with Shohei it matters. I, I think some players, you know, it might matter, but he's just so focused on being a good teammate and, and playing well. And so, uh, you know, I don't think that where he's hitting the order is going to is affecting him. I really don't. Outside of the positive result, what impressed you more most about that? I think the thing that impressed me most is uh, he spoils some tough pitches, uh, getting behind the count, and just fighting. And so I think for me, I, I like the term earning pitches. And so, you know, in that at bat, he was fighting pitches to earn a pitch that he could drive. And so the last thing on his mind, I'm sure, at that point was in the ball the ballpark. And so, but when you have good at bats, you spoil pitches, you put yourself in a good spot, then good things happen. And uh, he did it tonight. The next at bat, I thought he drove the ball well to center field, and then he got a base hit to left, so, and drove in a run. So tonight is, is what I know he's capable of doing. What about Tony, like, when he hits the ball that hard and that far, does that ever get old? Just kind of crazy. It, it definitely <laughs> doesn't get old. No, it does not. It does not. I think that, you know, where he's at right now, you just see that if the ball is in his hitting zone, um, it, it's going to be hit hard somewhere. And uh, obviously, he's very comfortable. You know, we're managing him and on the health, and he takes really good care of himself. And shoot, I mean, leading the league in hitting, um, leading the league in, in home runs, and he's right there, and runs batted in. So uh, it's, it's pretty special. And the last few weeks, uh, there just hasn't been a player better. Earlier, you mentioned what um, you guys got to do it by committee. Do you think tonight was an example of doing it by committee for the team? It is. It, it is. Um, I, I think that you know a lot of this year we, we've been very top heavy, and uh, you know Will Smith is the last few weeks hasn't you know been right as far as you know getting hits, um, and so other guys have got to pick up the slack. And so like I've talked about Mickey Rowe, but Jason had a big night, and to get those guys at the bottom. Collectively, um, it, then it just makes our offense, you know, tough to navigate. Um, you just don't want to be too top heavy, like you know we have been for you know a good part of the year.
Dave, you guys just finished 12 in a row. <coughs> How big is that to get through this? And do you feel like the schedule is a little bit more in your favor the rest of the month? I, I do. I do. This was, uh, man, we haven't really had a chance to catch our breath. And so uh, to get a split here, to have an off day, to play three, then have another off day, um, I, I think that the starters um, are, are in a good spot. The relievers good spot, and I think the position players, just how we've used them, they're all they're all doing well. So it, it will give us a good chance to reset and, like I said, catch our breath because this 12 in a row for Endeavor that was a tough one, and uh, I know guys were really feeling it yesterday, um, but I, I think we're we're primed to really go on a run before the break. When you manage and you talk about the reasons to take out Tyler or any, you know, when you manage the game. Standings come into play because of how large of a lead you have. Does that factor into you the know, game like tonight? Um, the easy answer is no, um, because you you certainly want to look at the big picture while still you know appreciating the here and now. Um, but I just think that you know there's certain people that really can affect potential postseason odds, and um, you know Tyler is one. So just understand that, yeah, we're at the win-loss, um, but it really shouldn't matter uh, if you feel like your process and how what you're really ultimately trying to accomplish is the most important thing. Um, so tonight was an e easy one for me because just given you know, what he's done in years past and what we're going to be expecting from him this year, but uh, we put ourselves in a good position where I can feel even better about certain decisions, yeah. When you look back at your expectations for Tyler at the beginning of the season, what were they? Has he exceeded what those expectations were? Um, he's exceeded them. Um, you know, you saw him in 20, um, see him, you know, once in a while um, when I catch a game here or there when the Rays are playing, talk to hitters. Um, I just really have come to really like the guy, uh, appreciate what he does, but just seeing him every, you know, sixth or seventh day, once in a while, fifth day. Um, it, it's pretty special. It, it really is, you know, the swing and miss and stuff. And, you know, he has a ball that now, that fastball, that sinker has added another element to him. So uh, he, he's better than I thought. Thanks, guys. Thank you.